Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey, <clears throat> bringing you a uh, key repair video today. Uh, this is a Samsung NP300E5E computer, uh, more commonly called a 300E. Uh, but the reason why we're repairing a key on this and not the whole keyboard uh, is if you flip this thing over, if you look inside this computer, this is a French inset keyboard. It's held on by many plastic rivets. So if you lose a key, if one breaks, you can't just unscrew this keyboard, put a new one on and screw it down. You gotta rip this thing up, break all these rivets, and there's no real way to secure another keyboard after this. People use tape and stuff, but it's not an ideal repair. Um, so that's why we're gonna show you how to take a, a, a key off of this keyboard safely and how to put it back on without breaking it. Uh, we're gonna do a normal size key, one of the letter keys. If you're looking for a larger key, you know, enter space, uh, shift. If you're looking for a larger key, there'll be a link in the description for the lar larger key video because they do look a little different. But in this video, we'll do a uh, small key. So to start with, you need a uh, small flathead screwdriver. Smaller the better, a, n a normal one will uh, not do. What we're gonna try to do is get the screwdriver under your key cap, which is this top part, but above the retainer clip un underneath. So it's tricky because you can't see under there, so go slow, feel it out. Under the cap, oh, pops off kind of easily. And if you notice, I'll zoom in where the screwdriver is, it's above the retainer clip, which is where we want it, holding it down. If we weren't holding that down, uh, that's made out of pretty cheap plastic. It's very uh, thin, very flimsy. Um, and that would have bent and, and broken um, when we were peeling off our keycap. Now to take these things off is the mega tricky part. Um, these are very flimsy plastic. They break with almost no effort at all. Uh, so we're going to go nice and slow and hopefully get that off there without breaking it. This little rubber bouncy component there, please don't rip that off. That is so hard to get back on. It's held down by glue. If that rips up, you're going to have a heck of a time getting a new one on. So leave that alone. Uh, we're going to try to get this black clip out. After I get it out, I'll, I'll show it to you a little better um, what we were trying not to break if I managed to not break it. So it's held down by a metal clip at the base in the center and two metal clips on each corner up top. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to uh, push this up, get it out from under those metal clips. There are two little plastic parts that slide under the metal clips. I'm gonna to try to get it up without breaking those. And this is where you're going to break it if you do. Uh, so go very slow, be very careful. So I'm gonna push up as much as I can. Get that thing out from under there. Oh, that was easier than I expected. All right, cool. So we'll show you what that component looks like now that it's out. There you go. So this is your retainer clip. It's two pieces fitted together. Uh, so don't freak out if it comes apart. You can just uh, put it back together. So that center one, that base metal clip was held here, right in the middle. And then the two up top were held in here and here. And, it, and as you can see, these are two very thin pieces of plastic. That little protrusion and that little protrusion. So those are so easy to break off um, when you're taking it out. So to put this back in, we're gonna go the reverse way. Instead of taking the top off first, we're gonna put the bottom in first. So we're gonna set it down bottom first, try to get that bottom clip up in there, get that right nestled under there. And when it's centered and it's in place, we're just gonna push and snap those two pieces back. Yeah, they snap in a lot safer and a lot easier than they come out. So after that, you just put your keycap on, center it and push, snaps right on. So that's how you would safely remove and safely install a key on uh, this model Samsung. Again, if you're looking for the larger key, um, check out the description down below. We'll help you out there. They got some other things going on in there that the smaller keys don't. Uh, but if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Uh, we try to answer you at least a couple times a day. And uh, if you enjoy computer repair, do it yourself. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.